Are we on? Let's go. All right, let's go. Now, in my last video, I discussed about legitimate online businesses you can actually do to you and earn dollars from it. All right, I made a list and I asked my viewers to tell me which of those businesses they are more interested in so that I can do an in-depth analysis series on those businesses. In-depth analysis refers to going step by step what you need to know, doing the business mathematics involved, telling you from my own experience and my dashboard, the actual earnings I've got, calculate how much you can actually earn from such businesses. And what I got from the social media networks where I posted it and also in the comment section is that they want to hear about stock photography. So today we're going to talk about stock photography. However, I've checked my notes on this. I don't know if you can see it. It's the entire book, right? And I've estimated for me to do an in-depth analysis series on this, tell you step by step, it's going to take three or four episodes to cover, right? But don't bother your head about how many episodes it takes. All you owe me is this one episode. Watch from beginning to end and find out if you've got enough substance in it by the end of this video in order to make a decision in this. I'm not even going to ask you to subscribe. You don't have to subscribe. Just keep watching the video. If in the middle of the video, you think the substance I'm giving you is strong enough for you to want to see more, you subscribe. Click the subscribe buttons. Let me know that yes, a lot of people are watching this and a lot of people are interested and they like this kind of content so I can do more. That's the feedback system I can get from you. And if by the end of the video, you think it makes sense, you definitely have to subscribe because that will give you the notification when I post the subsequent episodes or when I discuss the other online businesses. But for today, we are doing stock photography. What is stock photography? Stock photography in simple terms is just you snap pictures and you sell those pictures. But in the actual sense, what happens is that you snap the pictures, you give it to a company, middleman, who is set up to sell those pictures. Now, this company does promotion, talk to people, and people come, and companies come to these companies to buy these pictures. When they select your picture and buy them, the companies pay the middleman. The middleman now pays you a cut, a share of what they sold the picture. As simple as this sounds, this earns people thousands of dollars. Now, which companies are these middle companies that are doing this sort of business? Top five, my top five list of stock photo companies that can actually sign contracts with you as a Nigerian. They are looking for you as a Nigerian to sign contracts with so that you can post those unique pictures in it. And I'll tell you why they are looking for you. Number one is Shutter Stock. Now, Shutter Stock is a company that I have accounts with. Shutter Stock is a company that has paid me dollars. Shutter Stock is a company that is popular all over the world. They are old, they have a large database, and they offer subscription-based sales. Like you subscribe to their website and you now have access to all the photos that they have in their database. And they have other special packages. However, they are so affordable that a lot of people troop there to buy pictures. Therefore, making them one of the most favorite, I guarantee you, you are going to get sales if Shutterstock should accept you as one of their contributors, stock photo contributors, all right? Um, number two on this list is Getty Images. Now, Getty Images is an old company as well, a king in the field. However, Getty Image deals mostly with editorial pictures. Right? What are editorial pictures? Editorial pictures are basically newsworthy pictures you cover events, you cover a riot, you cover a demonstration, you cover an election, you cover traditional wedding. You know, they are real life events. I'll tell you the difference, why they consider different from commercial photos, let on in series, because everything is segmented. All right. Now, number three on this list is Adobe Stock. Adobe Stock was formerly Photolia. Photolia is a company, they were doing well, they were saying pictures, they are getting more popular. Then Adobe, the Adobe that you know that does software, bought the company and now converted them to Adobe Stock. They are good, their pictures, they have strict policies, but their pictures are good and they are good to contributors. I've earned money from them as well. I have an account with them as well. You're going to see some of these things later on in this series when I show you my dashboard. Number four on the list is iStock. 
iStock is just like uh, Fortulia that was doing well and was bought over by Adobe Store, but this one was bought over by number two on the list, Getty Images. Why Getty Images deals a lot with editorial pictures, iStock deals a lot with commercial pictures. You see, the company is now balanced. Now, these are my top five shorter, um, my top five stock photo companies. All right. When I got into stock photography, which was about two years ago, there are companies that were in vogue then, you know, Dreams, Time, 123, RF, Alami, all right? But no, nobody seems to talk about them. However, there are tens, if not hundreds, of these stock photo companies. As long as you are a non-exclusive contributor, I'll tell you the reason, the difference between non-exclusive and exclusive later on in the series. As long as you are a non-exclusive uh, contributor, you can actually upload pictures, the same pictures, you slap like 500 pictures, you upload it to 10 or 20 different companies. All of them have their market, all of them have their own sales gimmick, alright? And they will all pay you money if any person buys any of those pictures. So, do your research, but make sure you try these five that I mentioned first, then do your research and add more to it because the more you have the more chances of you getting money and each of this money accrue into something that makes sense you will find out towards the end of this episode when i do the business mathematics calculation on it now why do these companies want you i told you that there are companies looking for you to come and register with them why do they want you one so that you can tell your own story yourself like a lot of people complain that um, whenever the uh, Western world is showing pictures of Nigeria or Africa, it's always showing an impoverished area, you know, of Africa. But most of the time, those are the pictures they have. When they came to report on how Africa is doing, that's what they saw, right? Now, if you go to these stock fo um, photo companies and check for the videos or pictures of the country, you won't find most of these pictures, right? Almost everywhere you look at, if you look at the TV, magazines, um, newspapers, websites, you will see a stock photo there. Like CNN, like they play a live match and CNN is reporting about that live match in the afternoon, like one hour after the match. And they are using a picture because they don't have the right to show the live match. They are using a picture to depict it. At the bottom corner or some part of the picture, you see Getty Images. That should give credit to Getty Image. That's where they got the photo. Getty Image is a company that sells photos. So they are telling you that, look, I got this photo and I have the license to use this photo. Because all these companies I mentioned, when they sell to the buyer, they sell it with a royalty-free license. Which means when they pay for this picture, they don't have to make any recurring payment. They don't have to pay you royalty. Okay? So they just buy it and that's it. They can use it. However, there are different licenses depending on the kind of promotion that you want to uh, achieve. But most of the time, they have simple package license that you can use and you buy this picture and use it for a lifetime to do whatever it is that you want to do. Alright? Number two, they are leaving it to you to show your best side or your worst side because in journalism, it's about showing it as it is, telling the truth with the pictures. So, Tell the truth about your country. Tell the truth about your environment. There are different concepts that you can actually snap pictures on. Different, so many concepts that you can actually snap pictures. As we go down in the series, you will find out what I'm talking about. So, when those concepts come up, snap pictures of it. For instance, this uh, infection that is ravishing the world. If you go online to search for professionally shot pictures that you can buy and use on your website or use on your promotion, you are going to find Caucasian models of these pictures. If you find a black person, it's probably black American. But you are not going to find a Nigerian dressed in a Nigerian attire, wearing a face mask or depicting the environment surrounding the infections. But companies are looking for this kind of thing so that they can send a well, um, get well message to their customers, show their customers they actually care. But they don't find it. So number three is actually part of what I mentioned true international concept with an African view. What am I talking about? For instance, a business concept, let's say handshake, all right? That's one of the most popular pictures in stock, in, in, in stock photography. 
is a handshake picture. Now, handshake in, in business is shows that a deal has been concluded. All right. However, initially, when you search for a handshake handshake picture, you see Caucasian hands. Later on, you start seeing black hands. You know, Africans start getting into it. However, have you seen any that shows an African hand, a Nigerian hand, with bangle, you know, with beads or with paintings on the hand to show that you are from a certain region of Nigeria or you are from a certain region of your country, shaking somebody wearing a suit or a female shaking a male. Just an international concept, business concept that you can depict in your culture and diversify the industry to number four. African companies are advertising with African pictures now. Gone are the days when they use commercial or Caucasian model to advertise and people would be like, wow, this company might be good. Hi, I think they have affiliation with the white man. Good times have gone like that. You can't go to a region where they love drinking pan wine and you use a Caucasian model to show somebody drinking wine. You have to use one for you have to use somebody who is dressed in the proper attire of the region that drinks pan for companies to organize their own photo shoot is expensive. They contract a company, get uh, cameras, call models, review. It takes time and it's expensive. However, if you have already shot these professional pictures and they have accepted it in the, in the stock companies, in the middlemen, the middlemen accepted this picture, companies can easily go there, check, no matter how much it is, if they're going to do a nationwide production, they just buy it up immediately because they need it for their contract and it saves them a lot of money. So companies are actually looking for you to snap that unique picture that they're going to use for their next promotion. I know you love this part. I love this part. Money, money, money. What is the typical aim of a stock photographer? <laughs> for this, we have to dash into my dashboard. Uh, I have an account with Shutterstock. And the reason why I'm going to Shutterstock is they are the most affordable of the list and a lot of people go there to buy, even though you might have a lot of downloads, but the payment might not be that much because I'm trying to use an average account, all right, and do my calculation so that you will see that it is possible to actually earn money on as a, short, as a, as a stock photographer. All right, so let's go into my dashboard now. Now, my dashboard says, as you can see, that I have an earning of $168.41. And this is the money that I have accrued on my account for about a year. Based on research and based on what veterans say, people that have been in this business for 5, 10 years, you need an average of 5,000 photos in your account for you to make a reasonable income from one Shutterstock company, all right? Some of them have 25,000, 30,000, 50,000, 100,000 photos, but you need at least 5,000 photos for you to make a reasonable amount of money. And if you check my account, you'll find out that what I have there is 502 pictures. But in a lifetime of this account, that is about a year, my pictures have been downloaded 452 times and this has earned me $168. Now let's do some calculation. I'll try to put the calculations where you can see it. So you can see that it is actually good and possible to earn money because I've withdrawn money from this account that I'm showing you. I've, I've been paid one, the dollars, this $168. I've withdrawn it by the time I, when I was gathering my money from different accounts, I withdrew the money. So I have already eaten money from this account. All right. Now, based on what the veterans say that you need at least 5,000 photos, I'm going to prolate this. I'm going to calculate this, project this to represent 5,000 pictures. So which means I'm going to do this calculation based on this amount that I got by with 500 photos. What is it going to be? Assuming I had 5,000 photos. When I opened this account, I still had a regular 9 to 5 job. So it was only on Saturdays or one or two weekends when I go for hiking that I snap some pictures. So that was how I put all these 500 pictures you have here. Right now, I'm focusing on YouTube videos. 
by the time I get back to focusing on this uh, stock photos and build it to the reasonable standard, then you will understand how easy it is to be sleeping and be making money from online. All right. So for me to calculate it and project it to 5,000, that means 500 multiplied by 10 will give me 5,000 photos. So in the same vein, 168 dollars multiplied by 10 will give me 1,680 dollars. I mentioned my top five companies that you can submit your photos. Remember I told you that if you are a non-exclusive contributor, you can actually submit the same photo to several other companies. So these same 500 pictures that I have here are submitted to about eight companies when I was starting. However, I'm going to do this calculation with five companies because not all of them did as well as the others. So in order to derive an average of these eight companies, I'm going to narrow it down to just five companies and do the calculation of five companies. So assuming I'm getting $1,680 in a year from one site. From five sites, I'm going to get 1,680 multiplied by five, which is equals to $8,400 in a year. Now, $8,400 in a year, if I should calculate it and convert it to Naira, the exchange rate as of today is 440. So 440 multiplied by $8,400 will give you three million six hundred and ninety six thousand that's what it will give you three million six hundred and ninety six thousand there for the year that is what you got from uploading pictures for the year assuming you have up to five thousand pictures like you snap like in a shoot you can actually get hundred to two hundred pictures in a shoot for instance you are shooting uh, a, a shoot that covers Scientists in the lab, all right. You have a scientist, a model that has a lab coat and is trying to do experiment. You shoot from different angles. They touch the petri dish. You shoot. They touch a test tube. You shoot. So you can actually get 10, 100 to two hundred pictures from one shoot. So it's possible, very possible, to upload up to five thousand pictures in a year on Shutterstock on stock photography. So based on our calculation, we are getting three point six million naira. Now, this is the matter, let's divide it by 12 to find out what it gives us monthly to know if it is true that if you have up to 5,000 pictures that you can actually live off it. Now, 3.6 million divided by 12 gives you 308,000 naira monthly. But what is your monthly salary <laughs> as at now? Now, this is a side hustle. There are people who are focused on this. They wake up, they must shoot. They wake up, they find a concept that they must do. They wake up, they find a concept that they must do. They have up to 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 photos in their library. Now, this means that several concepts have already been covered. And there's no way they won't find a buyer for their picture all over the world. So, as a side hustle, you are earning 308,000 every month from uploading 5,000 pictures to five different websites this is awesome and i'm sure if a lot of people have access to this kind of money monthly they won't think of illegitimate businesses to do online they won't think of scamming anyone all right so this is an estimate of how much you can get the reason why i did this calculation in this episode is to show you my dashboard show you how much i got from it and show you that it is very possible to earn a living off this now, in the next episode that I will do, I'm going to teach you about the types of membership, exclusive and non-exclusive membership to these companies. The types of photos, editorial or commercial photos, what they are and how to go about each one of them. The procedures to apply and get into these companies, sign a contract with them. Irrespective of the fact they are looking for you, this is sort of a professional field. So, they are looking for professional pictures that buyers will see. And be interested in buying it so i'll tell you the procedures to get into it and finally the concept what to look out for when you're snapping this picture because this is a professional industry 
they need you to shoot professional pictures and there are concepts to shooting a professional picture which they like so i'm going to give you those concepts and those procedures what to look out for when you're shooting these pictures because they need the pictures to be interesting to the people that are buying so that they can make a lot of sales and when they make a lot of sales that means you are making a lot of money and then also as a company is surviving and paying their staff from what they accrue from the sales all right so that's it for today take care if you think that what you heard made sense subscribe there's no point co coming here by chance this is the time for you to take a side hustle a hobby and make money from it it's going to you can shoot these pictures and leave it there for five ten years pictures that you this kind of passive recurring income makes you money when you sleep it can be your retirement plan you can keep doing this while you are doing your regular job and in the next 10 years you go to the account and check how much you have made i have 500 pictures it's been a while uploaded in some of the websites that i have accounts with however as at this month you have seen the download that i have i have already had five downloads like i stay and receive notification on my phone the company will be like somebody has bought one of your pictures for the first time or for the fifth time or for the sixth time or they just give me the information on it this month i've already sold already meanwhile i haven't uploaded there in a while all right so this is what you need to make money and if you can actually will this account to your children after you have in the law of money because as soon as people are buying these pictures they will always pay you money you get so there are real benefits in doing this so subscribe when i do the next episode you will see more reasons for you to get into this and we are gradually going to keep breaking it down breaking it down breaking it down until we get to the full story and i'm confident that by the time you get the full story you are equipped enough to make millions or thousands of dollars from this business that's it my name is pascal Wara. this is top 10 nigeria and i'm out